we saw thousands of people take to the streets last night to express their sadness, grief, and dismay at the court's failure to protect their fundamental rights. Tonight, California's same-sex wedding ban is under fire. They're ready to take the case all the way to the Supreme Court. Veteran lawyers Ted Olson and David Boyce are coming together on gay marriage. This case is about the equal rights guaranteed to every American under the United States Constitution. Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, and liberals all recognize the importance of the equal rights guaranteed by the Constitution. We're all Americans who simply want to get married, just like everyone else. Nothing really speaks to the true commitment of two people, in our minds, as strongly as the term marriage. There are three basic points that we want to make. One is that marriage is a fundamental right. The second is that gay and lesbian couples are seriously harmed when they're deprived of that right. And the third point is that allowing them to be married doesn't hurt anybody. Good evening. Breaking news tonight in America's national debate about what defines a family. Because California has no interest in discriminating against gay men and lesbians, the court concludes that Proposition 8 is unconstitutional. This decision today brings Paul and I and so many others like us closer to that equality, too. The federal appeals court struck down California's Proposition 8 and gave supporters of same-sex marriage their biggest legal victory yet. The court found that Proposition 8 served no purpose and had no effect other than to lessen the status and human dignity of gays and lesbians in California. This is an astounding moment in American history and in the march of rights that began in Philadelphia in the last quarter of the 18th century. It could be a major test of same-sex marriage laws coming just months after three more states legalized gay marriage. Their one sole key witness opposing marriage equality has come to our side. It's about the fundamental right of a person to pursue happiness and to find liberty their way. Just a parade of high-profile people and organizations have come out supporting the same-sex marriage. The Obama administration has filed a brief with the U.S. Supreme Court supporting same-sex marriage in California. Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. The significance is huge. It is the first time a U.S. president has weighed in in support of same-sex marriage to the Supreme Court. For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well. The groundswell of support for gay marriage among prominent Republicans is being showcased like never before. Seventy high-profile Republicans just signed a brief supporting gay marriage. In a friend of the court brief, Melman and 130 other conservatives advised the court to strike down Prop 8. Four former governors, two members of Congress, and a top presidential advisor. Marriage equality is a conservative cause, wrote the newly emboldened John Huntsman. Some big-name companies are taking a stand in favor of same-sex marriage. Including Apple, Alcoa, Facebook, eBay, Intel, Morgan Stanley. 60 signed up so far, according to Fortune, but expect to see a lot more of them by tomorrow. Support for gay marriage has reached a new high. 58% of Americans now say it should be legal for gay and lesbian couples to wed, including overwhelming approval from those under the age of 30. For the first time, the court is considering whether same-sex couples have a constitutional right to marry. More than a dozen people are already in line outside the Supreme Court to hear this historic debate. Today, protesters and gay rights supporters were all swarming the steps of the Supreme Court, and inside, the justices were listening to the arguments. Olson and boys are finally at the steps of the Supreme Court. It's now uh, in the hands of the Supreme Court. Uh, it's been a long journey here for the last three and a half years. Now it's up to the nine justices to make a decision. We have gone from the district court in Northern California over these four years all the way here to Washington today before the United States Supreme Court. California's Proposition 8 uh, hurts couples like our plaintiffs, Chris and Sandy and Paul and Jeff, but they're really just 
uh, an example of millions of other Americans across this country in, in, in many other states that are also being harmed by discriminatory bans on marriage like Proposition 8. As we look at the calendar, it could be June before we hear a historic ruling on marriage equality cases being tackled by the Supreme Court. Whatever the decision expected this summer, the impact could reach far beyond California state lines. Thank you, counsel. The case is submitted.